think uh, Qatar again has steadfastly over the years been very engaged in Afghanistan through uh, even with the Republic government having dialogue with the Taliban as an important part of the peace process. And I think that's been incredibly important because as we know, uh, for any peace process, Afghanistan or otherwise, you need to talk to all the stakeholders involved in that country who engage in peace stability in the country. And now also, since uh, the Taliban has now established the de facto uh, authorities and engaging again, continuing that dialogue and for UNHCR as well, that's been incredibly important because we do believe for the sake of the Afghan people, that it's important to engage, dialogue, and have a discussion about the key issues that affect Afghanistan. And we met with uh, the authorities in Kabul. And since then, um, the High Commissioner and myself have gone back to Afghanistan. We have met all the key uh, ministers in the, in the de facto administration. I have personally traveled to Kandahar, to Jalalabad, to mazar sharif to Herat. And we met the authorities, we sit down and we work. And uh, that interaction, I think, has been very important. Unimpeded humanitarian access involving the community in needs assessments, that when humanitarian aid is provided, that all of the community gets it. The engagement and importance of all segments of society, young people, old people, boys, girls, women, in that process, these are principles which govern humanitarian work. And I think a very important thing for all of us to remember is Taliban is not a monolithic entity. There are different individuals or perspectives and uh, you have to keep talking at different levels. You have some people who are more conservative, some people who are more forward-leaning. And it's important to keep that uh, dialogue going. And uh, I would see it as a moment in time where the international community, writ large, has to reflect saying after 40 years, most recently 20 years of international communities, robust engagement in Afghanistan. Where do we, what are the lessons learned? How do we move forward? And our point to the Taliban has been, we understand when you say it has to be framed within the Sharia, but look at the practices of the other Islamic republics, learn how it has been done, cultural sensitivity, yes, we understand, but work within those best practices that you see in the region. We were very disappointed, obviously, when we saw um, the inability for girl children to go to secondary school and the edicts and decrees that have come since. And we continue to advocate saying to lift those restrictions and to have a way coming back to that point of giving the space for children, girls, children and women to play the incredibly important role they need to play in Afghanistan moving forward.